Will we look like fools and kitty pools? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today, we are dipping our bottoms into inflatable pools full of mystery stuff. And hopefully this time around, I'm not gonna get skin scorched by hot sauce like last time. It left quite a pattern on my face and neck. That's not happening again, right? No, that is happening again, right? No response. I requested that that would happen again. Okay, we'll see. Okay. We don't know. This episode is also extra special because it is our third and final Mythical Beast Takeover episode. Woo! You know what we did. We offered you the Mythical Beast a chance to write. On an episode of GMM, we got 4,000 submissions. We narrowed it down to three, just mm -hmm. three. And mm -hmm. now on the line, all the way from Indonesia, our final Mythical Beast Takeover winner, it's Cal. Hello, Cal. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, we're just, do, you know, we're just doing the show, doing your episode. Um, oh, nice. Taking, taking mental notes all along the way of things that make us unhappy so that we can let you have it afterwards. Just kidding, man. <laughs> I know this is gonna be great. You feeling good about it? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, we got a question for you. Uh, we wanna get this cleared up. Is Davin a folk hero in Indonesia like he tells us he is? Oh, absolutely. Like we have days dedicated to him. Days, multiple, multiple days? Multiple days, like holidays and stuff. <laughs> and stuff. Uh -huh. the emphasis on the end stuff. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Man, I would, okay, I was, I don't necessarily believe you, but uh, at least, I mean, he's in cahoots. Yeah, they, they work something out. He and out David, they're, in, they're yeah, in the yeah. cahoots. Well, anyway, Cal, thank you so much for contributing to this episode. We're looking forward to experiencing what you have come up with for us to experience. Will we thank him in the end? I don't know. But the sun's out. Let's get those buns out of our chairs and into some pools filled with who knows what. It's time for Call the Lifeguard. Am I swimming in lard or a wet leotard? Why does it smell like a St. Bernard? Who knew guessing could be this hard? Nice title, Cal. I love it when we get St. Bernard in a title. <laughs> okay, we each have a pool in front of us, actually. Uh, we're in it. And a curtain in between us, preventing our peepers from peeping at the other guy's pool. What are you doing right now, Link? Chilling. Doesn't matter. Chilling. Because I can't see you. Our pools will soon be filled with mystery objects for us to swim in. And then we're gonna take turns asking yes or no questions in order to figure out what the other guy is swimming in. Yep, the first one to guess wins the round and we're gonna have four lifelines to help us out. Spike it, soak it, rhyme it, stroke it. We're gonna spike a beach ball into the pool or soak what's in our pool with a super soaker or come up with a rhyme as a hint and finally we can stroke it which is just back, back stroking in whatever's in our pool. The winner? gets a one-of-a-kind work of art drawn by this episode's co-writer, Mythical Beast Cal. Wow, Cal, working in some self-promotion for I, your side I job. What's happening here? <laughs> I like that. We're swimming. We're I'm swimming. swimming. I'm, I'm actually trying to not move too much because I don't want to give too much of a, of a hint. Okay, Link, uh, since you got nearly uh, decimated by hot sauce last time, you get to go yeah. first. Rhett, are you swimming in something Man-made? Uh, technically, yes. Technically, yes. First thing I thought of was a poop. You know what? I hope yeah. you're swimming in human feces. Uh, you know what, Actually, I'm gonna no, say, I'm, I'm gonna say yes and no. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Link, is what you're swimming in man-made? <laughs> yes and no. Yes, it is. Rhett, is what you're swimming in found outdoors? Yeah. Doors. Okay. Is what you're swimming in clothing? Nope. Is it for fun? No. Is what you're swimming in something that would be found in your house? I wouldn't call I mean, if you, are you asking is it a household item? Yes. Then no. Man, I'm already stumped. I wanna, I want you to soak it. Okay. Here we go. Soaking. <laughs> soak it some more. I ran out of soak. That wasn't a lot of soak. I mean, I, I mean, I, I used everything I got. <laughs> Did I hear? Is is there plastic involved? All right, I'm gonna try to be very helpful here. You may have heard plastic, 
but if, if that would send you in the wrong direction. So I'm going to say no, you didn't hear plastic. <laughs> okay, ask me a question. Would it be in your garage? No. Is it decorative? No. Okay. Is it protective? No. Do I own one of what you're swimming in? No. Oh, that was a quick no. I think it might be illegal, actually. Is it a tool of some kind? No. All right. All I know is that it's outdoors. Is it a representation of something that that thing would be illegal to have? Yes. Do you get it at a store? <gasps> mm. Yes, but not in the way that you're thinking. Oh, okay. Oh. Does it represent something that is living? Like yes. for an example, like an animal. I, I answered the first part of your question. Okay, okay. You didn't buy it, but because you bought something, you got it. Right? Yes. <sighs> okay, I think you know what I've got. So at this point, I have to guess in order to win this round. Is it the owl I gave birth to? <gasps> Oh, no, it's not. Okay, Link, you got bags? Nope. Oh. <laughs> Do I got bags? <laughs> Does it represent an endangered animal? Yes. You're swimming in an endangered animal. Okay, if it's not bags, there's something else you get in your bag. Is it receipts? Lifeguard Chase, pull it back. <laughs> oh man, bald eagle! Bald eagle! I was so man. close with my freaking owl throwback. Wow! Look at this CVS. CVS is giving some receipts. So man. many treats. How long y'all been collecting <laughs> CVS receipts? All I bought was a bag of popcorn and some Sudafed. This is what came out. Sudafed, huh? Okay. I'm swimming in something. Ooh, I'm swimming in something too. Oh, you seem happy. I think I am happy. Well, you're winning. Is that why you're happy? And that's why you're going first this round. Rhett, are you swimming in something man-made? Heck yeah, I am. Uh, Link, are you swimming in something man-made? I'm sorry to take your questions, but I feel like it's a good starter. Yes. Are you swimming in something dangerous? Uh, this, no, does not strike me as dangerous. Okay. Is what you're swimming in edible? No. Why'd you say it like that? Just to mess with you, maybe. Are you swimming in something edible? Yes. Is it decorative? No. Is there meat in it? <laughs> uh, no. Okay. Vegetarian. Not in, not in the, no, not, no, no meat. Is it a tool that helps you do something? Yes. Is what you're swimming in something that I could get at a fast food restaurant? That is not where I would think to go for this. Okay. Do I have what you're swimming in? Yes, definitely. It's a tool that I have? Yeah. You know what kind of tools I got? I know enough. Is what you're swimming in something that you would get at a grocery store? Heck yeah. You know what? Can I get a lifeline? Sure. I want you to spike it. I want you to spike a beach ball into it. And make it count. Make it count? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try to make this count. Didn't get a lot from that. You didn't? Did it pop the ball? You had one chance to listen. Is it sharp? That's my question. <laughs> yes. Are you swimming in beans? I wish. Oh, you've been so excited. I thought that was it, definitely. I thought it, w it had a personal tie to you. Do I use this to eat? Yes. So this non-meat thing you get at a grocery store, that's not beans. You know what? I'm gonna, because I feel like I'm so close to the right answer, I'm gonna help you out, because you're my buddy. Uh-huh. You said, does this have a personal tie to you? And I'm gonna say the answer to that is no. I thought you were gonna be even better of a buddy and say it's not tied to rat. That's what I was saying. It's not tied is to me. That's what I'm, your beans is to my <laughs> peanut butter. Are you swimming in peanut butter? 
Mm, no, whoa, Link. Are you swimming in forks? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> and I had a choice. Are you swimming in cereal? Be more specific. Oh, I'm torn. <laughs> Are you swimming in Raisin Bran Crunch? Lifeguard. Yeah. Are you swimming in knives? Is that what you're swimming in? That makes a lot more sense if you didn't be swimming in knives. Ah! <laughs> Uh, of course you're swimming in knives, because of the lateness of it all. Raisin Bran Crunch, the sugariest adult for cereals. Forks. I'm a forking fool. <laughs> Woo, swimming. I'm swimming. Just right at home. Okay, Link, I'm gonna start on this one since you got the last one. Do it. Have you ever owned what you're swimming in? Uh, I'm glad that went, that apparently went over well. No. Okay, Rhett, is what you're swimming in, does it make you happy? I, I'm kind of, I feel like I'm indifferent to it, personally. Uh, okay, but no judgment to those who are into it. <laughs> no, no judgment, no judgment. Is this something you would find in nature? Sometimes. Are you swimming in something nature made? No. Are you swimming in something that is best represented in an action? Um, is it active? Sometimes. <laughs> What's it, you're giving me lots of sometimes, man. You're giving, you're giving me strange questions. Um, can you find it at a Walmart? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Uh, well, I was gonna ask you the same thing. I was gonna say, is it a product? But I'll, ask, I'll just ask you, can you find your item at a Walmart? Not much anymore. <laughs> what? Um, do you wear it? You probably could, but that's not. Okay. That's not typically how it's used. Man, can you eat it? No. Can I eat yours? <laughs> no. Okay. If I saw you with this thing, would I be like, well, that's a surprise. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, are you swimming in something that has a very specific function? Yes. Okay. Is what you're swimming in metaphysical? No. What do you mean? <laughs> you're like, if I saw you with it, I'd be really surprised. So I was like, well, if I saw you with a ghost, I'd be really surprised. It's not a ghost. It is not metaphysical. Okay. Okay, it has a specific use. Is that use is it an indoor use? I, I, I don't think it matters if you're inside or outside. Okay. Is what you're swimming in a being of sorts? Yes. Is what you're swimming in something that you use on your person? Yes. Not my person, but the person who uses this is using it on their person. Okay. I'm gonna use a lifeline. Link, I would like you to stroke it. Uh. It sounds furry almost. <laughs> it depends on where you stroke it. <laughs> Is it a mannequin? No. Are you swimming in a feminine product? Yeah. Okay. Are you looking for a specific person that this represents? Yes. Okay. Is, is the product absorptive? <laughs> absorptive? You know, like absorptive. Uh, no, no, I know what you're thinking and no, it's not absorptive in that way. Okay, good. Is this a famous person uh, in history? It depends on who you ask. I'm gonna say, yeah. Oh, I got a lifeline. Can you rhyme it? Uh, vest plump. <laughs> what? Vest 
plop. Did you just burp? <laughs> what? Are you swimming in a chest pump? You know, like like a nursing, like a nursing machine. I will not accept chest pump as the answer. Are you swimming with yourself? Chase, <laughs> pull her back. It's just me, myself, and I. That's what it is, a breast pump. You said chest pump. Oh, <laughs> I said chest pump. I knew it's what I said. I need to plump. say breast pump. You said chest pump. I said I wouldn't accept. Hey, <laughs> how does that purple one work? I don't know, but this one, look, this one is from Benny Hinn Ministries. Are you serious? Benny Hinn's got a breast pump, y'all. <laughs> that only means something to a small group out there. Well, shoot. Oh, wow. Look you at get, this. You get artwork from Cal. Oh, and it says, in this issue, Rhett wins again. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that. Sergeant oh, no. Sunscreen. Look. All right, Cal, you did a great job, and you did a great job for enduring all of these yes or no questions. Thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Chloe, and I'm at the Blue Lagoon in Malta, and it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. That sounds like a magical place. Blue Lagoon in Malta. <sighs> I gotta go. Click the top link to watch us play Kinetic Sand Sculpture Pictionary in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. If you missed it the first time on our main store, maybe you'll catch it on our Amazon store. Check out our selection at amazon.com slash mythical and get prime shipping.